I would like to make reference to Central World Plaza, one of the biggest shopping centres in Thailand, I'm told even the world. It's located in the Rasha Pashong district, a prominent shopping area in Thailand. And this is where the Red Shirts held a protest in 2010. And the Democrat government at the time launched a crackdown on the Red Shirts and disrupted the protest. The Red Shirts retaliated by burning part of the mall. And now it's been rebuilt. It looks very sleek, very modern, but it still stands as a reminder of the violence that the Red Shirts are capable of. This time around, the Red Shirts are trying to avoid all violence if possible. And that's why they staged their protest rally one hour's drive away from Bangkok. They do this to avoid any clashes with the PDRC supporters. So they're really trying their best not to provoke the military, not to give the military an excuse to come in. And they want to keep everything peaceful. The only violence I saw was they plastered the roads leading to the, the protest rally with photos of the yellow shirts and their enemies like to tap Taksuban. And they were actually encouraging the red shirt supporters to walk over these photos and step on the faces of these so-called enemies of the red shirts. PDRC's protest was different from the Red Shirts because they didn't really have a central rallying point. It was quite disjointed. They targeted key government installations like government house, TV stations. So they sent protesters to different parts. And even if you count the numbers together, it's still about less than half of that of the Red Shirts because the Red Shirts protest was about 20,000 people. And the Yellow Shirts was, or the PDRC, which they are now known, was much lesser. But the interesting thing to note about the PDRC is that they have the resources. They seem to have the money, the manpower, the, ma the machinery to mobilize people, to mobilize the logistics, to even block roads so that they can have the protest march. So that's quite interesting to note. They are still a force to be reckoned with. Catch our analysis on Insight Thursday at 8pm.